years after its concept car debut, the production-ready version of the Renault 5 E-Tech made its eagerly awaited debut at the Geneva Motor Show. The design pays homage to the original 5 of 1972 and has stayed remarkably true to the concept version, while seamlessly blending retro and futuristic elements. The Renault 5 E-Tech is the first vehicle to be designed entirely on the new Ampere platform dedicated to B-segment electric vehicles. Thanks to the flat floor and long wheelbase, the compact hatch boasts optimized interior space and boot capacity, just like its ancestor did more than 50 years ago. When fitted with the 52 kilowatt hour battery, the new 5 delivers a range of up to 400 kilometers and it can even tow a 500 kilogram trailer. It also introduces a new AC bi-directional charger compatible with vehicle-to-load and vehicle-to-grid technologies, which means you can feed carbon-free electricity back into the grid. Pricing kicks off around the 25,000 euro mark, making the 5e Tech a solid value proposition to you. If that's still a little out of reach, then Renault's sister brand Dacia has the answer. The spring caters to those looking for simple, affordable and efficient zero emission mobility. And there's a big market for that in Europe, with more than 140,000 units being sold since it was first launched in 2021. The updated version retains the practicality and five-star Euro NCAP rating that the spring is known for and adds a more powerful 48 kilowatt engine and a larger 10-inch multimedia screen into the mix. It also features an entirely revised, more robust exterior design. Robust happens to be one of the brand pillars of the Dacia Duster, Europe's best-selling SUV in 2022. The third-generation model, which debuted in Geneva, represents a radical departure from its predecessor in design terms. All the essentials, no artifices. That's how Dacia describes their design philosophy. The simple shapes and volumes add to the powerful look, including the sharp, vertical face, rugged wheel arch guards, and the large tailgate. Developed around the CMFB platform, the third generation Duster will be offered with a wide variety of powertrains, including the Eco G100, which runs on LPG, the Hybrid 140, and the 48 volt TCE 130 mild hybrid while both 4x2 and 4x4 derivatives will be available. The Duster, which is marketed as a Renault in South Africa, is scheduled to arrive on our shores in the fourth quarter of 2024.